On the scene video coverage of ESC 2012 is supported by Prodexa. I'm Spencer King here at the European Society of Cardiology meeting for On the Scene. We're looking at some very interesting trials here, and one of the ones that excited me was the intraaortic balloon pump uh, shock 2 trial. This trial is taking a look at the very important question of patients who, are, who have had myocardial infarction are undergoing revascularization with percutaneous uh, treatment and at the same time are receiving balloon pump or not balloon pump. So it's a randomized uh, comparison of 600 patients, and the endpoint was all-cause uh, mortality at 30 days. So we all know that the balloon pump uh, uh, improves uh, hemodynamics to some degree, and it is a class one indication, both in the European guidelines and in the uh, ACC AHA guidelines. But in this trial of 600 patients randomized with almost all of them getting the assigned treatment, either balloon pump or no balloon pump, there was no difference in 30-day mortality. Somewhat surprising because some registries and other observations have suggested that, in fact, we do reduce mortality. But this is the largest trial comparing in a truly randomized way balloon pump to no balloon pump, so it brings into question whether patients should be treated that way. Now, when I reflect on how I'm going to use balloon pump in the future, certainly for patients who are hemodynamically severely compromised, I think the balloon pump is still a worthwhile approach. And in this trial, it's important to point out that there were not complications uh, in the balloon pump that exceeded uh, those in the uh, control group. So it was a safe approach but disappointingly did not reduce 30-day mortality. So this is going to be something we'll need to watch in the future, but a 600-patient clearly randomized trial does bring into doubt the uh, value in reducing overall mortality for intra-aortic balloon pumping in the setting of cardiogenic shock. Uh, on the, for on the scene, let me suggest that uh, you stay tuned because uh, many more exciting uh, trials are coming up.